Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and we are up to the Queen of Hearts person, the Loving Mother card. You are a Queen of Hearts if you were born on July 29th, August 27th, September 25th, October 23rd, November 21st, or December 19th. Your karma cards are the Ten of Spades and the Nine of Clubs. Karma Cousins are the Four of Hearts and the Six of Diamonds. Your past life cards the Jack of Hearts and the King of Hearts. This is a double Neptune card, the Queen of Hearts. And it, and it has its share of idealism. All of those people possess a certain charm and magnetism that attracts others. They're all mothers of love and they share the love with all they meet. They either get married and devote themselves to their family or they get involved in some professional career. They have more than average ability to be successful in many professions regardless of their sex and they have especially good luck in professions where men predominate this is the representation of the king of spades and Mar mars which is a very powerful card that will bring money that will bring many of them great success throughout their lives both sexes take their roles as mother or father very seriously if they do become parents, there is little that can come between them and their children. They're very much like the king of hearts who is usually more devoted to his or her children than to their spouse. These people are very sweet, attractive, sociable, and loving. They can be very successful artists or performers as well as having an appreciation for art and beauty. Many are aware of and make use of their abundance of psychic and musical ability. As long as their idealism is guided by the truth, they can live the life of the fullest and the nurturing that is their birthright. This is the loving mother card. There is a calling in life that has to include sharing of love with others and the more the better. When operating on a lower level, they can be overly self-indulgent, lazy, frivolous, and into the good life. This is a card of enjoyment and of sensual pursuits and experiences. There are many codependents, escapists, and alcoholics among the Queen of Hearts people. Once they set their sights in line with their high ideals and are ready to renounce laziness and complacency, there is no limit to how high they can climb in their work or their career. The people of this card are usually attracted to those in power and financial strength. These are the darlings of the deck, and the Queen of Hearts represents Aphrodite, the women all men dream of. She is naturally blessed with all the feminine qualities that can make a perfect wife or a loving partner. They're charming and devoted to their families and their ideals of love. This is a certain gaiety of innocence about them, and one would hesitate to ever criticize them for anything. Still, their identity may be too high, and sometimes they will attract a partner who will bring them back to Earth. Hopefully, the fall will not be too high or too hard. The males are likewise charming and graceful. They are more sensitive than most men, and often become house husbands who mind the children while their wives work as the breadwinners. Both sexes are attracted to mates that are powerful and financially successful, and many of them marry into such a situation. In some cases, the Queen of Hearts' charm turns into indecision and the certain disregard for the feelings of others. This can play the field with success, but sometimes attract a partner who is unfaithful or indecisive. The Queen of Hearts female is strongly attracted to powerful men, especially those of the spade suit. Diamond males fall hard for the Queen of Hearts females, and club males find them very challenging. Both sexes of the Queen of Hearts make good friends with club males, but the male Queen of Hearts finds clubs women to be somewhat unpredictable and hard to fathom. Okay, here is your life spread. Your moon is the six of spades, Mercury is the ten of clubs, Venus is the eight of diamonds, Mars is the king of spades, Jupiter the three of hearts, Saturn the ace of clubs, Uranus the queen of clubs, Neptune is the ten of spades, Pluto is the five of clubs. Your karmic result or your reward is the three of diamonds and your karmic lesson is the ace of spades. You are a queen of hearts person just like Michael Douglas, Christopher Reeve, Will Smith, Heather Locklear, Marlo Thomas, 
Goldie Hawn, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Johnny Carson, and Peter Jennings. So your karmic result or your reward is the three of diamonds person. Let's see what their birthdays are. Three of diamonds people are born on. January 24th, February 22nd, March 20th, April 18th, May 16th, June 14th, July 12th, August 10th, September 8th, October 6th, November 4th, and December 2nd. Your karmic lesson is the Ace of Spades. Let's see when those people are born. The Ace of Spades people are born on... January 13th, February 11th, March 9th, April 7th, May 5th, June 3rd, and July 1st. So let us know if you're a queen of hearts person, and if this sounds like you, if you've been involved with a three of diamonds or an ace of spades, let us know, comment below, share us with your friend. And as always, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Door, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.